Welcome everyone to JavaScript programming language course for beginners. This video is an introduction to JavaScript. You'll also see the source and reference for this video. I hope you'll be able to follow along this entire JavaScript course. Coming up next are the ESLRs. As you watch this video, please bear in mind about our ESLRs. And these are right thought, right communication, right attitude, right conduct, and right lifestyle. This video is the first part of section 1.3, Workspace Configuration. And this focuses on identifying and installing several useful tools for web development. At the same time, a developer's workspace should feel like home. So we'll configure one here. In the next slide, we'll install Sublime Text Editor, and this will be the application we will use to write JavaScript. There are several text editors for writing JavaScript, such as Notepad for Windows, TextEdit for Mac, but the editor we'll use for this entire course would be the Sublime Text Editor, and I believe you are quite familiar with this one when you were in grade 9. So let's download this one to be able to start using it. And by the way, in the computer lab, this application is already installed. And I highly recommend to install this one if you're doing online class. So go to the web page, sublimetext.com slash 3, then check your system could be Windows or Mac, and download the compatible installer. After you selected your system, then, the down then download the file. And once you download, it will appear at the bottom, as there's an arrow here. If you're using Mac, then you can either double-click or open with Finder to install it. In this video, I'll open it in Finder. Then the downloads folder will appear and we can proceed to double click the downloaded file to install it. Drag sublime text to applic folder and then go to applications folder, then locate and double click sublime text to run it. If you are Using Windows, then here's you. So follow these steps. After downloading the installer, go to Downloads folder, then double click Sublime Text to install it. So the version may vary when it is updated. And by the time this video is created, it's version 3.2.2. And we'll just have to follow installation instructions. In here, click the next button and click finish to exit. exit. The installation folder for Sublime Text is in Drive C, which is in Program Files and Sublime Text 3. Double click the Sublime Text icon to run it. So for both Mac and Windows users, we'll run Sublime Text after the ins installation. So this is now in the Mac interface. And we'll go to Applications folder, MEMP, then HTDocs folder. At the same time, Sublime Text is open beside HTDocs folder. So there are two windows that you can see here. Now let's drag htdocs folder inside of the sublime text and you'll see a folder named htdocs and js folder inside of sublime text. For Windows users that could be located in drive C, map folder then htdocs. If you will open the js folder then you will see the chapter 
folders we created earlier in the lesson. The shortcut key for a new file in Mac is Command N, and we are quite familiar with that. For Open, that's Command O, and Save, that's Command C. But with Sublime Text in particular, there's one keyboard shortcut that's definitely good to know. That's Command Shift P for Mac or Control Shift P for Windows. So this shortcut key will open the command palette in Sublime Text. So this is the command palette in Sublime Text after we press the shortcut key. And we are going to type JS in the search bar and you will see a few drop down list options. So just press escape key for now, then go to in the Sublime Text Editor. In your tools panel, go to Install Package Control. So once you click that one, it will install the package. And once it's installed, it will say package control was successfully installed. So just click the OK button. And now, if you click the tools menu again, the install package is gone and it means it was installed properly. Now, let's uh, use the shortcut key again for Mac. Press the Command Shift P and for Windows, press Control Shift Shift P. Type install in the search bar and press Enter. So different packages are available for Sublime Text. As you scroll down the, the button, you have several options or a list of plugins for Sublime text. If you scroll, if you scroll the button bar here at the bottom, you'll see the ZXX, and that would be the last option. But in between, there's a lot of plugin files to install for Sublime text. We don't have to use all of them, and we'll just have to choose what's best for us. For now. So in Sublime Text, press Escape key. And we're going to see the summary of today. We have installed Sublime Text application to our machine and we installed the packages to Sublime Text. We'll continue this video or lesson in the next slide. For our web quest, we will use the internet to search and read more about workspace configuration. Before I will end this video, I hope that you learned something about workspace configuration. Thank you for watching this video.